Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Dwarves of Ededuin campaign. Now, on the last episode we fought a small battle here near Bad E. Donyanak. They already have a, another, you know, if they had merged everything, they had a perfectly good army, but they didn't. I stroke before that, that happened. So right now, it's time to attack this other army. I don't have too much infantry, but judging by the last battle, I have just enough. So let's strike them, and they're going actually into the city, alright. They're actually going into the city, and now it's dangerous because they might attack. They might attack. I kinda need this guy, so hopefully they won't do that. Hopefully they won't do that. Alright, let me check my diplomat. No, he's not gonna move in yet. Let's end up the turn and see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens. If they retreated into the city, then it's gonna be easy, guys. I'm just gonna besiege the city, gather up some reinforcements there. In the meantime, I'll be conquering Roskivin and the other cities. So... In the end, I actually gained more with this. It's just a matter of, you know, getting to the point where I can actually uh, slaughter them. Um, moving my capital was uh, the best decision. I would advise anyone that starts the campaign to do it in the first turn. I thought, you know, in the beginning I didn't know if I would be expanding down or to the middle as well. But judging by that, the, the, the way that everything started up, um, I guess it's better now right when you start this, just to change and move your uh, campaign. Aye, your capital, sorry. Yes, sire. Aye, sire. Right, yes, let's sire. talk to Dol Guldur. Dol Guldur yes, seems like a nice faction. Trade rise is pretty balanced. We have no complaints. I want your maps, or want to give you maps, for some money. I must just reject it. Okay, I'll stay there and propose in the next one. Two units of Dwarven Travelers, that's nice. And some more Bronze Elder Guard and Guardians of Elkos, we'll check them out uh, later. End of turn, I still have some money, so it's not a problem. Over here, it doesn't seem like anything. I, I think they are respecting the our differences. Now, I could go for an armor or stuff, I don't think so. Yeah, I have these Dwarven Travelers. Can I build any units there? Not yet. But I can build some units here. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Not going to go for construction on this turn. You know, I certainly need a couple of more units. I could stay there and just, you know, gather up with the upkeep. But I really need to keep moving. Yeah, these guys didn't attack, so they allowed me to join in the forces, which is perfect. That's it. Now I can besiege, just having a battering ram there. You know, I really want them to try and sally out, so I don't don't actually need a big army like that. Uh, let me just check out if there's anything wandering here. Doesn't seem like it, so the Ruskivine is actually prone to the taking. And over here, let me check. Let me check. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're moving in. So we're gonna be fine. So Body Donyanak is gonna fall in five. This is gonna fall even uh, faster. I'm gonna reinforce everything. That's it. These dwarven travelers, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave these guys for now. No, I have plenty of archers already. I I will be depleted in spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I won't need too many more. So I'll just wait with them and I'll start building up some units that will actually be upkeeped uh, free in the city. That means, you know, at least I'll have some units to rally to the front if I need them. Because for now, now I have two full armies with, with the corps. That's just crazy. Something and then I'm going to get Peter Granta. I'm going to get here to Angsul. As soon as I get to Angsul and Cotton Durm, of course, as soon as I get there, then the whole thing shifts the uh, place. So we're, we're at the point where we can just keep going and no problem. Uh, do remind, I have to remember you guys that the conditions of victory are 
are you know far easier than any other campaign I just have to defeat two very close uh, foes and conquer most of their their places that's about it you know it includes some of the cities that I already have and some of the other cities that they have nothing too fancy so that's that's one of the things that I got it going this is a, a fairly easy and, yes, and fast campaign actually. all right uh, enough chit chat let's end up to turn I kind of wanted to see if they would attack me, um, their own buddy Donyanak. Because by selling out, they would be in the trouble. They would be in trouble. I already have a couple of militia troops there, my axemen. I still consider, you know, quite good troops. No, four militia, they're pretty much the, the same as any other militia. But they still have an axe. So they hack and slash really well. Come on, let's see what happens. Are they going to try to attack? Are you? Are you going to attack? <laughs> You're gonna attack them? You know where that comes from? If you never watched uh, something something dark side, that then go watch it. <laughs> oh, they want me to take the settlement that I'm already gonna take. Right, that's that's nice. One of the best units already available. That's nice. Okay, some Edit Luin Forges. These guys will stay there for now. Because I am losing a lot of money, of course. You know. king. I, I have it to support Mark. the upkeep of I these sire. beast I, units. I king. And when I say Revoke. beast, I. I really mean beast. <laughs> you get that they are Learning really beast. Now, I don't have any money. I don't have any money, but I'll have Is that. something I can do for you? Because now I'm going to offer my map. They should exchange for like 500? There weren't days, please, 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 please. Just reject it. They really don't like it. But okay, no problem. Let's go talk to Dale. They'll, they'll want it. And the dwarves as well. Uh, okay, let's just make sure that we don't lose anything here. Yeah, thought in souls. Seems to be fine. I do have Philly the Honorable over there. I always like to see Philly the Honorable. Nice. Okay, let's capture Rescue Vin then and get one of my best troops. Well, Only one of those. Ooh, what do they have in? They still have a Goblin Tracker, Should so if I attack with my archers, I'm gonna have to deal the damage to them. But this is a fairly easy Something one. Now, let's see, Peter Caranta doesn't have too much. Right, doesn't have too much. He's moving a couple of forces there, nothing too fancy. He's having to. You know, he's having to reinforce everything. Condor does have some guardians of Condor. Alright. That's nice. But still ineffective. Right, not gonna take this battle yet. You know, I wanna be reinforced. Um, especially by two And the battle that I'm gonna take is there on the rescue beam. So that's... That's it. I got that going for me. I got that going for me. Just checking the the cell phone guys. If you watch me going like this, it's checking this out. <sighs> really need some water nearby. Have water. Yeah. Have water. Hmm. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is from the Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, I played it. Played it, I liked it, but I didn't stream it or you know set it up to YouTube. They didn't film my thing. They didn't film my thing actually. I, I kind of like the idea, but yeah, you know MMOs are MMOs. They became become a little bit boring after a little while. Um, that's my opinion. I love. You know, I don't have too much patience. I'm probably not the best player to be talking about that. Right, finally I have some more units. Recruited some more stuff. Constructed on Faham Gatul. Uh, let's see what I can build up as well. Practice range, I can build that up. And actually have some discounts, so maybe that's that's the idea. But I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna capture that city, so I'm gonna take more money. If I'm gonna take more money, then I'm, I'll be able to have more. Onward. Aye. 
This one's going to arrive there. Right, there's a couple of units moving in. Oh boy. He's always sending those smaller pocket units. Let's strike down here on Rescuevine. Let's go for it. You know, I'm going to take this because it's a smaller siege. You know, less chance to lose any uh, good units. The other one, I'm not going to take it because, as you recall on that episode where I attacked, I actually lost a couple of units that, you know, usually I shouldn't be losing. You know, when I captured it, I thought they wouldn't be able to, to reinforce it, and suddenly there's an army there. So that was a mistake, you know, I should have scouted a little bit ahead. Okay, these guys or these guys? Well, let's use these guys. Hey, I mean, look, this is a very open space so that I can pepper them with arrows. Let's go, let's send them over here. Now, you guys, let's just deploy... Actually, let's just deploy the de depleted units together. And the non-depleted units together as well. Heavy infantry. That's it. You know, the difference between some of these infantry units are is the attack. You know, 7 of attack is really good, but these 10 of attack, effective against armor, this means that these guys will hack through anything. This has a melee attack of 9. They're actually better than these guys. You know, Dwarven Orc Hunters. They don't have effective against armor, of course. And the added Luin Forgers, they are effective against armor. So this is the bonus that these guys have in terms of other militia troops. You know, we have a militia unit that is effective against armor. Which means that you can use them against their top units easily. Now I'm gonna have my cavalry nearby, but they won't do the damage. This will be more of a archer, two archer battle. Let me take away this and move over here. There's no towers, so there's no problem. What do I have here, actually? I have only Orc Albertiers, and their, their archers should be in the middle, right? Yeah, the archers should be here, I cannot target them, but they are there. There they are, Goblin Trackers, I saw them. Okay, this is going poorly for them. Even though it's raining, come on. They're trying to flee through the middle there, and oh boys. Oh boys. That's it, keep hitting them. This is fairly easy, you know, just standard siege idea. Just pepping them down with arrows until they're dead. And it's working, it's working, it always works. That's why you bring a lot of it. A lot of uh, infantry for siege battles. Not that I can build any cavalry at all, but you know what I mean. After this one, I'll probably do a Rohan campaign just so we can compensate for the lack of cavalry on the la last few uh, campaigns. It has been a lot, always, you know, since a, it's been a long time since I used the heavy cavalry faction, such as the Orcs at Gundavad or even Border or even Isengard actually who can get some cavalry units. Right, let's just send this uh, drop this in. Let's stop your fire, because I certainly don't want you to spend all your ammunition on those idiots right there. That's it. Hey Ness, that's a nice ram right there. Now that's how, that's the look of a dwarven ram. The elves' ram is it's kind of weaker. You know. Let us in. That's it. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Why are they always Irish? Now why are the dwarves Irish or Scottish or whatever? They always are. Alright, let's send these guys over here. Can I hit something? I can't, I barely can't. 
Alright, I could send these guys over here. Maybe they will hit them. They are going to hit them right now. Missiles, let's go over here. Let's see, can I actually attack something? I just want to be able to hit that middle. Honestly, over here would be the best idea. And I think so. I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because over here I can actually get a couple of shots. Let's go running. No, I have my infantry. I can send just my Adaboon forges in the middle. But for now, I think that's exactly what I'm going to... What I prefer. Just to have these guys over here. Are the Goblin Truckers going to attack? No, it doesn't seem like it. So, if they are not going to attack, then I will. That's it. Auto fire. Oh, they're actually attacking these guys first. Okay, just kill them all. Maybe that will lure them into attacking or something. That's it. A little bit of a waste, if you tell me. Nine... Eight. I expect him to die a little bit. Well, I expect it to have already died, so no. Let's stop you guys. And let's give you targets. Let's give you these goblin trackers. Let's give you those go orc fellas. They're gonna attack the orc marauders. That's it. Let's go. Not times two. Actually, times six. Whoever is attacking the Goblin Trackers, they are going to flee, so i got to be on the lookout for them moving. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Let's actually tell them to auto-fire. That's going to be it. That's it, right now. You're hitting. That's perfect. They're not moving. That's perfect. We're going to spend all the ammunition here. Half the enemy force oh, that's it. There's a good place right there to hit. Half their force has been killed only by archers. Oh, nice. And I still have some Dwarven or Hunters who can actually do a lot of damage. Let me send these guys in here. Let me send these guys here. Actually, here and here. That's it. Run, run, Our run! Soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's wards belong to us now. All your wards belong to us now. Okay, have no more archer fires. So kind of a bummer. They still have a little bit, and they have some orc marauders. Okay, they're going to kill a couple of my units, but still. That's going to be easy. Let me send my depleted units first. Just want to make sure that my missile troops can actually do some damage. You know, against those old fellas. So I will have to... You know, I think these guys moving here would be better. And these guys moving here. I think these Aided Luin warriors can attack this, these guys. And these ones are going to go here and here. Set, run and run. This infantry is going to run here. These guys, I'm just going to tell them to go in. Yeah, that's it. Just go in. Let's go like this. Set, that's plenty of infantry right there. Actually, I'm going to move here. Right, that's nice. You're going to strike them. It's, it's no problem. These guys, let's just move here, and you, let's just move here. Let's run and run. These Wolverine war hunters, I want them to attack these war marauders by their, you know, by their side. Ready at tracking, attacking here. I think 48 of the Moon warriors will do nicely against these goblin trackers. Yep. Still nice, and he's not moving any of these units. These Dwarven Orc Hunters will deploy here and start hacking. Still have some Edit Luin Warriors, let's move over there. Okay, 
fortress. Let's go here. Yeah, 45, and they killed. Wow! I actually only lost three so far, and they killed like 17 of them. Yeah, that's what you get when you get good units. Just letting you watch this. You're pushing through, that's nice. Okay, these guys will hit with their archers, or with their axes. Which is nice. I should actually move them here so they can hit better. Come on. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, the goblin trackers are almost dead. And I lost like 20 men. That's that's really nice. That's really cool. And here we go with the volley. Come on, send them the volley. They're all in their backs. It's gonna do extra damage. Come on, let's go for it. Are these guys gonna strike there. Okay, that's that's nice. Let me just see here. Are they gonna send in these? No, they're not. Red Lewin Forges, let's go here, you guys, let's go here, that's it. Need to strike that down. Now they're attacking the Orc Marauders, let's tell you to attack those. Come on, send those axes. That's it, they act kinda like the uh, Javelin Men, so that's cool. Let me send everyone in. That's it. Completely surrounded. X3. You guys just gonna go here. Let's go. And let's watch the battle, let's say. Yeah, there's no chance these guys will do a lot of damage. Now they are getting hacked by these old marauders. Old marauders do a lot of damage. Look at the difference of casualties when they enter the fray, huh? Now these Dwarven Orc Hunters strike them down. That's it. Now all we have to do is hang on here. Let's push through. The enemy general lies dead. Let the crows have his miserable bull. Yeah, let the crows eat his heart and eyes and whatever is next. Okay, they're almost dead, amazing. Wow, that was really fast. That was really fast there. I did lose a couple of my units, but maybe a lot of them survived. You know, 64. Yeah, 34 casualties healed. And 15 here, so I almost lost nothing on this, on this one. Still have, you know, most of those units still are properly set up. So I'll use one or two as, um, I'll use one or two as, let's say, garrison. And the rest will just be fine. You know, I'll push over to Peter Garanta. So that was a battle again near Riskivin. It had already been mine. Let's occupy it. I don't have anything to destroy it. No, but I do have some broody to build. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go low tax rate. Mission was success. I got a ballista. Oh boy. I didn't want the ballista there. Oh well. Now let's merge all my units. And I have this Edith Lewin Forges. Who's going to sneak back? That's it. And let's keep moving with this guy. We're going to build up some watchtower right there. And that's going to be it. You are going to move over there. Where's my ballista? Oh, it's having some upkeep. Okay, no problem. I wish it wasn't, but I don't know. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. So finally, we're capturing the cities. We're going with the campaign somewhere. We already have good units, so everything should be fine from now on. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and cheers. Have a good one. Goodbye.